thank you so much. And uh, thank you all for coming. And uh, I'm great to be here. Um, and this talk is really about a project that we're just starting. So it's, it's nice that it's a short talk. Uh, don't have that much to show you yet. At the same time, I want to give you a short background because I'm originally from TU Delft, from the Netherlands. I moved to uh, Antwerp quite recently. I'm an so uh, associate professor at uh, product development within the Faculty of Design Sciences, which also includes architecture, interior architecture, and also conservation and cultural heritage. So it's a really nice mix of, of things. And um, of course, I moved there for, for two things, actually three, because it's also uh, beer, fashion, and diamonds. Um, but actually, there's much more going on in, uh, in Antwerp, particularly in the field of digital fabrication. So there's a great company called Tweekit, which was founded by product development people from Antwerp. And it's now uh, one of the largest ones working in the automotive industry and also in fashion. And then there's also a, a, a studio, design studio called Unfold, where I collaborate a lot with, which is more in the field of arts and crafts and craftsmanship and ceramics printing. So this is just the background. My, my research is really focusing now on this kind of notion of having smart replica, where you combine digital technologies or cyber physical technologies together with history and historic uh, 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 stories and narratives and, all, and other data, together with the notions of conservation and restoration. And just to show you some examples, this is done in the past. We did uh, clay tablets from Syria. And now we have one PhD working on ceramics and ceramic, uh, very intricate ceramics, uh, which has been broken, and then how to conserve that and also to repair, which includes a lot of algorithms uh, and, and 3D printing and so forth. Um, so if you talk about fashion, there's a number of issues it's very specific for fashion uh, in, in, um, in museums and in storage, is that it's very difficult to access those unless you're a very well-known designer. And uh, to reconstruct, there's a lot of issues. There's solutions for that, but they're not that wide. Thank you. And uh, there's some good re historic references. Uh, so it's not just the garments themselves, but there's also databases and other things that are now growing. And uh, so just to show you three different projects that are now developing in, in, uh, around fashion and digital fabrication, or fabrication in general, there's one called Kemi, Kemi. so this is about knitting in, uh, in medieval Europe. And this is about a, a database with uh, knitting patterns where, where you can more or less exchange your designs. Another one is called Refashioning the Renaissance. It's at Aalto University, which is in, in particular working on reenactments of, again, knitting and weaving of uh, medieval uh, and uh, Renaissance uh, garments. And the final one is Exploding Fashion at the, uh, uh, in London at the UCL, uh, working on, uh, again, on inspecting old garments and then remaking them <coughs> in new ways and also adapting, adapting them to new uh, manufacturing techniques. So this is basically where we're building upon. So this kind of notions that there is a lot of digital uh, uh, things already out there, but it's not connected yet. So this is the final sheet. So some, some, uh, some ideas of what we're working on right now. Uh, so we did a lot of scans. We're doing massive scans at the moment. Um, in different ways, so also CT scans, so this is with an old shoe, so also to see the internals, to see the construction of uh, 17th century or 18th century shoes. And then um, uh, right now also dresses, this is a silk dress. Um, and then <clears throat> the final one that we're, we will do uh, hopefully this year is a blouse which was not knitted as on the poster, which actually was uh, uh, made with a, uh, a woven jaguar. So this is basically my talk. And, I hope, and we have, in the near future, 
this kind of digital knitting, op open source, not open source, but at least more accessible digital knitting technique uh, in-house. So this is the Knitterit from the Kickstarter. So if you want to touch it, go to my poster. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>